Well, today on Nation a Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about raising your prices. The most uncomfortable thing that anybody talks about, and I know you have your opinions. I have mine, and let's talk about it. So, if you're a window cleaner at all, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How is it going? Man, hopefully you guys are having an awesome, awesome end of the year. 2023 is finishing up, so pretty crazy. And because of that, end of 2023, I wanted to talk about raising prices, and I know y'all hate raising prices, and there's some of you who go, I don't raise prices. That's scamming people, and that's cool. Like, you don't need to run, like, an air quotes, business. You can run, you know, um, something you just enjoy doing. But if you're running a business, you have to raise prices. And I know it's not fun. It's the not fun thing to talk about. I get it. I completely understand. Raising prices is not super fun when you're not used to raising prices. And I'm going to go over like a couple scenarios, but it's super easy to do. And I want to tell you more or less why to do it. Now, I'm going to start off by saying this. And if you're listening, raise your hand or whatever. I mean, don't do that. You'd look probably pretty weird if you're just working. But think about this. (laughs) How many of us have basically looked at what we're doing and went, oh man, I got to raise prices. I'm so behind on some of these jobs. They're so far off. Like this is my my bidding when I started. And then all of a sudden you look at it and you're like, oh, I got to double the price. If you double the price, people go, no. Like even if double the price is still the right price, it's the shock of expecting one price and actually getting the other. They will instinctively, the majority, say no just because of the drastic increase. Now, if your increase is noted every year and it's small and it's attached to inflation, it's easy. It's easy to understand. Very, very easy to understand. Will you lose somebody because of you raising your price 2% over inflation? Not just because of that. Not ever if you've done the right thing. If you tell somebody you're raising the price 2% over inflation and they leave you because of the price, then that all that's all they saw was the price. You've done a disservice in explaining to them why they need to hire you. And you don't have a USP. They just hired you because of price. And none of us want that. Here's one thing to just think about. I, again, I'm just a dummy who sits and babbles in front of a camera, but something to think about in price in general. You're not your target market. For the most part, you guys aren't out there getting your own windows cleaned before you had a company, right? We're the ones doing the work. So when our brains think about it and go, well, I wouldn't pay. Well, no, you wouldn't because you're not the customer. I mean, when you look at a Bugatti or you look at any of these other things, million dollar machine, CNC machine, or, um, you know, say you have a extremely expensive uh, dump truck or uh, whatever. If you look at it, it's a $250,000 piece of heavy machinery. You go, man, that is a lot. I wouldn't pay that. No, you wouldn't because you're not buying an excavator. You're not buying, you're not the market. You're not the target market. You're not the customer. It's the same thing in window cleaning. One of the things we get caught up in is we look at it and go, well, I wouldn't. Well, no, you wouldn't because you're not selling to you. You're selling to somebody else. You're selling to somebody who wants to have window cleaning. Not somebody who needs to have window cleaning. Window cleaning is not a need. It's not needed at all. Even in a route or restaurant where they get dinged from, you know, um, uh, their inspections, it's not a need for them to hire somebody. They could just have their own staff do it. Understand that we are a luxury, meaning that you sell a want different than you sell a need. All that being said, you've known, you've heard it a thousand times. I've talked about it. But going into the increasing in price, people always say, well, why are you increase price every year? Well, that just makes no sense. Yes, 
let me start off by talking inflation, which is nerd talk. I know, chew me out if you don't want to know it, but it's really, really interesting to understand the concept in business. But inflation basically works like this. You know, back in the day, a uh, loaf of bread was 50 cents. Gas was a quarter, whatever that price is. And now it's not, right? We go, yeah, well, prices have gone up and everything. Okay, perfect. Inflation is, is that if 50 cents is the cost of bread, and now it's $5 for a loaf of bread, the inflation is that the same price, 50 cents and $5 is the same price because it's the same price as an average for those items, right? So gas went up X amount, some things go up lower, some things go up higher, milk is now a more expensive. But if you said that, okay, 20 years ago, for $100, I got this. Now I buy those same items and now it's $300, $500. Whatever that price is, that's inflation. That means that the same goods are now costing more meaning your dollar is worth less, right? That basically means that back in the day, when I was a kid, there were penny gumball machines, literally. You could buy a gumball for one penny, which makes no sense now because pennies are completely worthless. No one uses pennies for anything. But back then you could buy a gumball. That means that a penny was worth more then than it is now. So in that same concept in inflation, now you're talking about business. If I'm paying you $300 for window cleaning, I paid that to you last year, I paid that to you two years ago, I paid that to you whatever. Inflation means our dollar is now worth less, which is what eventually happens with everything. You can tell in economics and everything that they try to dictate that and change that with blah, blah, blah. They try to make sure inflation is not crazy. But if it was, $300 two years ago, and you're still charging $300, you're really only charging $250 now. So in two years, you're now charging less than you did then. That is literally inflation. You cannot argue that fact. You can't say, well, I don't think I do it faster now. That's because you're more skilled. So with inflation, you have to raise prices, at least inflation, and that means you're stagnant. That means that if inflation last year, which without getting into economics, you guys watch enough news, inflation was pretty bad, you know, whatever the inflation numbers are. A couple years ago with the new presidency were pretty crazy. And when the new inflation numbers come out, you'll see where it's at and blah, blah, blah. But we'll say for even numbers, it's 5% inflation. 5% inflation means that this year, 2024, you have to raise all of your prices the cost of inflation. Now, by tagging it like that, they know. People know what inflation is, or at least have an understanding. But you have to raise your price at least 5% to match inflation, meaning what I charged last year and what I charged this year, the actual number is different, but the actual price or the value is the exact same because of inflation. Now, I hope every year you get more valuable. You get more uh, intelligent. You run a better business. You create a better experience. Every single year of your business, you should be better. That's why somebody who's been active in their business for 10 years has got something crazy going on compared to somebody who's in year one. Now, think back to year one. In year one, people would say, well, you know, most people are at this rate. I can't charge that because I'm not the professional that I have to charge. But now that you know more than the guys charging the same price in year one or two, you're not in the mindset that I need to charge more. So I am in my brain when it comes to services. The company should be paid for everything that I've learned over the past year. Everything, every piece, every, every nuance, every reason that I'm the professional and you want to hire me all comes back to that. So on that same tier, I'm gonna take inflation at 5% and I'm gonna add 2%. So our raises for even numbers, for as long as I can remember, are 2% over inflation. Now, that price, 2% over inflation, is not scary. If inflation's 10%, you raise your price 12%. If it was only 1%, you raised it two. 
if there was no inflation, which I don't know that there's ever been a year of that. I'm not smart enough to know that. But if there was, then I'd only have a 2% raise. If you work at a job, you would expect that you have yearly increases, pay increases, because you know more, you're more valuable to the company. It's the same concept, right? So inflation has to be put on. If you're not raising your prices because it's uncomfortable, because you don't think you should, because you can make good money anyway, you're making less now than you did last year. So all those customers that you, you landed that have created your business, you're now making less. You're spending more, you're making less because you've done nothing. Now, if you wait so long that now I haven't raised prices in five years, I gotta do something now, well, five years, inflation on top of inflation is compounding, now all of a sudden it's 50%. You cannot raise prices 50%. You will never catch back up to where you needed to be by doing small increases every year. This is how you grow existing. I talk about the dentist clothes, which by the way is the most absolutely amazing thing you can do to increase the amount of work you're doing and spend zero dollars in advertising. Dentist clothes is just, I won't get into that, just the explanation is when I'm done with the service, we walk around, oh, everything looks great, oh, perfect. Oh, no, did you want your next service in three months or did you want to wait six months? Six months would get you to uh, June 7th if that works. It'd be a morning appointment. Oh yeah, let's do June 7th. I just book 100% of my people every six months at least. I've just increased my number. With that being said, growth happens by keeping all of those and bringing on new people. Now what happens when you bring on new people? When you bring on new customers, you're in at the new rate, right? You look at, hey, we raised prices, right? So my window charge when I first started was a lot less than it is now. So now anytime somebody calls, here's the price. Well, all those other people are still at the old price. How am I growing if I'm charging those people all of the old prices. I have no problem telling people when they call now, my price is this. If you're watching the video, yes, the, the new uh, recording that I do, like if I do like a thumbs up, it like does some weird bubble thing, so I apologize. I'm not adding those, they're just happening. Anyway, with all that, if you have new business coming in, it will always be higher than you have existing. That is a big problem because you're okay with it. You're okay with the price. It's not the price. You're just not okay with it increasing. And you're not necessarily looking at the entire, the entire thing as this is why it's increasing. Right? Now let me take a second. I got to say my shameless plug because it is the end of the year. I just want to say first off, thank you so much to everybody who lets me put their orders in. Really genuinely, truly, it has been a fantastically amazing year. Um, 2023 for me has been the best year I've ever had in terms of working with people and, um, you know, um, just just projects and um, the people that have allowed me to coach them and the people who religiously use me to put in their orders and always let me do the uh, click the button to go. It is really because of you guys um, and girls out there that I exist in the world. I do what I do. It is how I make my money. It is absolutely uh, the reason I exist. So I just genuinely wanna say thank you to anybody who lets me do that. Um, and to segue that, if you haven't used a rep or you haven't used me for anything yet, I wanna make it absolutely simple for you. That's what I do. I wanna be a rep, uh, questions, all that stuff. My number is 862-312-2026. That's really my cell phone. Um, text me anytime you want with any questions. And even better, if you're putting in an order, when you have your cart, you can literally just click save this cart, which is above the like buy button. And then shoot me a text and be like, yo, Jersey, my cart's in. It costs you nothing extra to do that. It's the same amount of work, one button push, basically. And I get credit for that. And it makes me happy. And, uh, you know, I cry a little every time I put an order in. Uh, no, but really, thank you. It is like a virtual high five. Plus, I have the cool kid stickers that I want to make sure to throw into your package too. So let me know that you listen to the podcast. Yeah. And... American Window Cleaner Magazine, it has been the biggest year 
in history for the magazine. I mean, from 1986 when the magazine started for how many subscribers we have. So if you've subscribed to the America Window Cleaner magazine, uh, thank you so much. It is a uh, labor of love, but uh, some amazing articles, just an amazing team. Um, it's been an awesome uh, adventure, and hopefully uh, this year you're going to get the magazine if you haven't yet. So go to awcmag.com and get the subscription. Yes, it comes with stickers. Yes, it's a real paper magazine. Yes, it comes to your mailbox every single month, so go and do that. And yeah do all that by the way also my own youtube channel separate from wcr's it's just jersey underscore nation something along those lines thank you i'm followers and tiktok and all that stuff it's just it's been a great year so just looking back on that thank you for all that anyway back to price my knowledge in my business i should be compensated for learning right you would you would think somebody in business 10 years is going to do a better overall experience, just a stronger business because of all the lessons they've learned over 10 years. So that's one reason also why you're raising prices is because you're getting paid for your better knowledge, right? Like if you have a job where you go back and get your master's in teaching, right? You will get paid more because you know more by having a master's than you do not, right? It's the same concept in your business. And we sometimes forget that it needs to work that way. In the same realm of all costs, 15 years ago, I could start off a new tech at 12 bucks. You can't do that now. So all of your costs have gone up. Your costs to do the work have gone up and they go up every year. So you need to in turn go up every year with that. And now we talk about growth Another interesting concept is if growth is in your head and you think that's something you're going to be doing is growing, you have to grow the price because eventually, right, you have two trucks, now you need a support staff. The support staff does not get paid uh, by doing uh, labor. They don't go out there and clean windows and in turn make money for that. They get paid off of everything else. So your increase on everything helps pay for the extra support staff that makes the entire thing run. Growth happens with the increase and it happens all the time. Now, if you say, well, I'm the only one, look at anything else when you look at like food, soda, beverages, all of that stuff is going up in price or smaller in quantity. You used to get a 20 ounce soda now you get 16.9. And then what happens is they go new bigger size and they go to 20 ounce again and the price is up. What they've done is they've increased their profits one year, increased their costs the next year. They're doing the exact same thing that we would do in a service industry. They're just doing it in a longer stretch. You have to do that. Everybody has to do that. It's uncomfortable, but you have to. Now let's go back to the incremental changes that people are more worried about the, the like term of raising prices. I've had people literally send me things too. They're, if you're on pro window cleaning, it is the like uh, wild west of like people and uh, just it's, 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 yes, it's a group. It is a very lowly modified or uh, moderated professional window cleaning group and it's the internet still. So if you go there, expect for somebody to say something you don't like. But with all being said, the incremental increase, I've been blasted because people come, well, you're just trying to make as much as you, you're trying to spend so much and now you're charging so, no, you're charging less than me. So you think that for some reason you're right and I'm wrong. I've had people who've had jobs for 20 years and not raised anything. That's why when you look at buying businesses, you get these jobs, you're like, well, they're so bad. They're so, because they never raise prices. Raising prices does increase the amount of money you make, profit 2% each year. I'm getting paid more because I know more. I've created a better experience. But I'm keeping my prices where they should be in the initial side any, anyway. So a big piece of this is the incremental piece of increasing it, standard every year, calendrically, makes the whole process easy. 
It makes the whole process not offensive to people. It makes the whole process not hurt by increasing it in small amounts. If you look at something, a ladder, we'll, we'll say ladder prices for WCR, uh, ladder prices in the past like two years, well say since like 2020, have like gone crazy. It's because the aluminum has gone up. So every time the company says, hey, we're gonna raise prices, we have to raise prices. That That's how things work. I mean, it's not WCR. We don't get to design pricing. They tell us the pricing. They tell us our costs. We know where our margins are, and then we have to price accordingly due to their price. If they raise prices, you cannot go, well, that's all right. We'll just pay, we'll just make less because, no, you're still making the same by raising your prices to match their prices. That's the product cost. Those things go up so much that when somebody calls and they haven't bought in a ladder section in a while, they go, yeah, we're looking at a ladder section. We're like, oh, they're $380 a section now. You're like, what? I was paying $199. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah. Did you want one or two? Like, the, the idea that that sucks is there because they see such a big increase. Now, for some reason, we weren't connected on that a lot of the other products too we get stuff from you know the Unger and Ettore is like raise their entire lines and we have to raise thing a few pennies because it that's never really noticed except somebody who's had a long span like I haven't bought something in 20 years I can't believe how expensive they are that's because it's been 20 years but at incremental raises do not affect something everything costs more it sucks milk costs more go to the grocery store it's sad it makes me want to be a farmer <laughs> go in the grocery store. But, you know, everything goes up. So incrementally increasing pricing is so much easier. And I'm telling you, again, just like the dentist clothes works, and not that the, the concept is absolutely rock solid. If you do it right, you will blow your company out of the water. It's absolutely amazing. The problem is, and the reason it's called the dentist clothes, and the reason that I, like, coined that term is because your brain can wrap yourself around the dentist. When you go to the dentist, they give you your next appointment and no one ever has been like, this dentist is trying to rip me off and six every six months is two. No, you go, this is what you do, it's a dentist. It's who said that? Dentists said it's every six months, right? And you go, well, they're the pros, so they know. Yeah, you're, you're the window cleaning pro. Every six months is best to have somebody who you know that. Wrap your brain around it. It's the same thing with the incremental side. When you say, I raise it 2% over the cost of inflation, that is an easy concept for your brain to wrap it around and go, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. If it makes sense in your brain, then it makes sense to something you're going to do. And that is the biggest thing. The biggest hurdle you'll ever have in business will always be you. It will always be your brain. It will always be what you think is best unless you are in the 1% that follows numbers very, very strictly. A lot of times, the most eye-opening thing that you can do for business is to pull a P&L in general, which it's the end of the year, I'm talking P&Ls with everybody. P&L, profit and loss. You'd basically take your list of everything you brought in and everything you spent, all broken down and categorized. If you're using something like QuickBooks, it's a single button. You can see the breakdown of everything you spent and where it was because everything was classified when you entered it. If you look at that, and then you look at 10 years ago, your P&L, which again, if you use uh, any programs that still have it, pull it up once. If you looked at the two, you would melt your mind. That goes back to inflation. That goes back to pricing. That goes back to you proving to yourself it's needed. The same thing is, is when you have people who are coming in new to your company who are paying more for window cleaning than the guys that have been with you for a long time. And you go, well, that's because they've been with me a long time. I have, no, that's not business. That's not, that doesn't make sense. They're with you a long time because you provide a great service, not because you save them 2%. That's just not a thing. Like when people talk about price, they ignore value. I'm a huge proponent on that. Value over price all the time. Price only matters when that is the only thing they can hear or 
basically compare. But the value of something is always there. The reason somebody uses you or the reason somebody chooses you. I always have people who are like, I oh, yeah, when they call, you know, it's like, ah, oh, it's supposed to be like $299, but man, I'll do like $249 because it's right, you know, or I'll do like $280 because, you know, we don't have the, if you think somebody's coming to do window cleaning and $20 is going to be the, the, the difference between a hard no and a hard yes, you've done it wrong. You've absolutely done it wrong, in my opinion. The reason is, is because the $20 is what they're focused on, not value. No one gives two dumps about $20 if you've told them why they should choose you. There is like 1% of people who are only going to buy the cheapest. They don't care about anything else. They're okay with always living life, getting the most crappy service and everything they do because they've saved money. Yes, but that is not at all the norm. 1% if that. The rest of the people... If they're focused on price in your head, you go, man, 300 bucks is a lot. I've had people pay thousands, thousands of dollars for a home to get their windows cleaned. Is that a lot of money? Yeah, because I don't have a house that I paid $11 million for that has a view that's been in magazines. They're paying that because $11 million, they want the view. And it's going to cost them a couple thousand dollars to have that view. You're not your target market. So when the price is expensive to you, it's not necessarily to them. It's the same reason we always talk about like, okay, car is a car. Four wheels that get you where they have to go. If that was the case, you would buy the cheapest car all the time. But it's not. And you do not buy the cheapest car. You may buy one that's not the most expensive car, but you buy one that has the most value to you, right? I drive a Jeep Gladiator on 37s or 38s, something. I mean, beautiful truck. I love the thing. It is absolutely the most uh, awesome like uh, vehicle I've ever owned in all of my life. It is not at all the cheapest vehicle I've ever bought in, in my entire life. But it is not even close to anything on the upper tier, right? I found something that I loved, I had value, and now I bought a truck, I got a Jeep truck, it's a Gladiator, it's a Jeep truck, but it's a truck. So now I have that, I have an F-150, I have a Silverado, I have a Tacoma, I have all these other trucks that are all kind of in the same category of being a truck. Why did I choose one? Well, it's the cheapest truck, no, no. You probably didn't do that either, because there are lots of trucks out there. What happened was, you found the most value in that vehicle. Value. I bought this one because it's got the Bose stereo over just a regular one. Uh, uh, this one here comes with a 10-year warranty. Value is what makes it stupid for you to buy anything else. Why would you buy that thing when this has got all the... That's value that you need to have to yourself. So don't get stuck on people leaving you for the price and it's uncomfortable and whatever. Understand it's the concept and the mind side that you have to wrap your brain around. People will not care. Do people complain that groceries are more expensive? Yes, because they notice they're more expensive. If they go to the store and milk is seven cents more a gallon, they are not going to complain about that because it's milk. Right? You have to get your brain around the wrapping, the uh, wrapping your brain around the concept of raising prices, not because you're greedy, not because for some reason you're selfish. The reason is, is that the company's growing, the economy is doing its thing, and they have to be raised every single year. They have to. I hope that helps. I hope that helps you. There's still a lot of people out there who will complain. And if you do not raise prices, please comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's not on my personal YouTube channel. We put these on WCR's YouTube channel. But I get, I don't get, I get thousands and thousands of downloads every week on the podcast side. And I get like 300 views on the YouTube side. So it's very skewed. But you really only can comment on the podcast side. So go to YouTube if you're there and comment or text me or message me and say, hey man, I don't raise prices and here's why. I haven't raised prices in this long and here's why. Or I haven't raised prices, but man, I need to. Thank you. 
that type of thing in the conversation, it makes it not a stigma when you talk about it and people do not talk about raising prices as much because it's uncomfortable. It's the truth. You know what else is uncomfortable? My shameless plug that I've done every single show. And it is, it's the way that I make money. So my shameless plug hopefully is working on you right now. Huh? Huh? Uh, save my number. I'm the only Jersey you know, probably. But save it under Jersey. I'm gonna give it to you right now, ready? Here it goes, 862-312-2026. Text me, anytime, be like, yo, Jersey, I wanna use you as my rep, man, awesome. Now it's saved, now it's in your phone, and now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click, click go. You don't have to save a cart. You could even tell me, hey man, I need uh, a gross of uh, Ettore 18. Sweet, I'll send it to 123 Fake Street, man. I'm good. I'll save the card. Your address is on file. Everything is there. I make it absolutely easy to be your rep. I mean, I get credit for it, so that is my job. You're never bothering me. No order is too small. No order is too big. I want them all, and I want to do that because that's how I do what I do, and that's how I grow. So please and thank you uh, in advance for that. Same thing said with American Window Cleaner Magazine. Go to awcmag.com, cost you 69 bucks. Help the industry, support the industry while learning more things, surrounding yourself in window cleaning goodness and having some pretty cool stickers. So go there, uh, awcmag.com forward slash sub, get that. And uh, do me a favor and sub to my own personal YouTube. It's jersey underscore nation. Steve-o, the window cleaner's got like 41 thumbs and subs and I am well over 500. So <laughs> things are going pretty good. Uh, go and do that. I would love nothing more than to uh, have more subs. Because, so go do that. Either way, until next week, I hope you raise prices this year. It is not a bad thing. It's not awkward to do. But more importantly, go out there and be happy.